Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be simplifying rational expressions. So here in the following example we have 64 times y to the negative third plus 27x to the negative third all over this denominator. Now normally when you're working with negative exponents sometimes the initial move is to say oh let's go ahead and flip all the negative exponents so let's move you know this y to the negative third and this x to the negative third let's move these to the bottom and we'll take all these in the bottom and move them to the top the problem with this that you can't do is that this is 64 y to the negative third plus 27 x to the negative third so when you are multiplying or dividing a move like that is okay but when you're adding or subtracting you would have to move the entire binomial so this is not something we're going to want to do what we're going to want to do is to get rid of all the negative exponents so when we do this we'll have complex fractions so here we'll have 64 over y to the third plus 27 over x to the third. This will now all be over 4, and the denominator here will be x squared y cubed plus 3 all over x cubed y squared. Now I've gotten rid of all of my negative exponents. So here I have unlike denominators and I'm adding. So in order to add, I'll need common denominators. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll say the numerator is going to be divided by my denominator. So to do this, I'll have 64 times x to the third. The sign in the middle never changes y to the third times 27 and then in the denominator I'll multiply straight across so x to the third y to the third over here I'll work in my denominator so I'll cross multiply sign in the middle never changes and then I'll have 3x squared y cubed. So I'm running out of room, so I'm going to write this down here at the bottom. So I have x squared y cubed times 3. And then in my denominator, I'll multiply straight across. So what I'll do now is when you remember when you divide you have to keep the first fraction the same flip or excuse me change this sign to multiplication and then flip your second fraction. So we'll write that over here. So we'll have 64 x cubed plus 27 y cubed This will all be over x cubed y cubed times. Now, when I flip this in my numerator, I'm going to pull out the greatest common factor. Now, nothing's going to change in my numerator. Well, if you want, you could go ahead and multiply them straight across. We can do that so we don't have to write as much. So x squared times x to the third is going to be x to the fifth y to the third times y squared is going to be y to the fifth. And then I if I look in the numerator and pull out the greatest common factor, that's going to be x squared y squared. And then I would be left with 4x. Uh, and it looks to be plus 3y. So here's what I have. And I'll go ahead and cross simplify everywhere I can. So this x cubed y cubed can reduce this x to the fifth to y to the fifth. So here, these would cross out, leaving me x squared y squared. And then those can now reduce with the denominator. 
So if I multiply straight across, I'll have 64x cubed plus 27y cubed all over 4x plus 3y. Now here's what I have. So looking at my numerator, now I have what appears to be a sum of cubes. So the sum of cubes rule is a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So what I'll need to do is to find the value of my a and b. So I'll have to take the cube root of 64x cubed, which would be 4x. So this is going to be the a. And then the b here is going to be the cube root of 27y to the third. So 3y. So in order to factor here, what I'll do is I'll say a plus b. So that'll be 4x plus 3y. And this will be multiplied by a squared, so 4x quantity squared will be 16x squared minus a times b, so minus 4x times 3y is 12xy plus b squared, so 3y squared is 9y squared. This will all be over my denominator of 4x plus 3y. So here, this binomial can reduce with this binomial, and my solution is going to be 16x squared minus 12xy plus 9y squared. So here, I've completely simplified with negative exponents. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.